Now let's say this problem. Here ABCD is a rectangle with dimensions 15 and 20. Two circles are drawn touching one diagonal and two sides as shown in the figure. We have to find out x, y. That means distance between their uh, touching point with uh, this diagonal. Okay. So first of all, see whenever uh, you see a problem based on triangle and circle, right? You should be able to recall the concept of in circle. Right? Now here, this is 15, this is 20. So 15, 20, that means uh, we can assume of uh, or we can recall of the Pythagorean triplet 3, 4, 5. Right? These are 50, uh, 5 times. So 15, 20 and this must be 25. That means this diagonal must be 25. Right? Now area of any triangle can be written as uh, can be written in two types, right? So this is 15 and 20, so that half into base into altitude. Similarly, this can be written as in the term of in radius also. So what is that? That is semi-perimeter into in radius. Semi-perimeter that is addition of these three, that is all the three sides divided by two. That is semi-perimeter of any triangle. Okay, so 15 plus 25, that is 40 plus 20, 60, that means semi-perimeter will be 30. Okay, so and into in radius that we have to calculate. Okay, so this is the area of the triangle half base into altitude and in other ways we can write out the area of the triangle as semi-perimeter into in radius, right? Here semi-perimeter is 15 plus 25 plus 20, that is sum of the sides divided by 2. So, that's 30 into in radius, okay? So, in radius will be nothing but 5, right? That means, this should be 5, because this is 5, this should also be 5. If this is 5, this must be 10. Obviously, this is a symmetric figure. So, whatever is the radius of this circle, the same will be radius of this circle, right? So, this is 10. That means this should also be 10 because from an external point, if we put up the tangent, two tangents on the circle, their length must be same, right? So, if this length is 10, this length must also be 10, right? Similarly, the same thing will happen over here. This length will also be 10, right? Now, we know the complete length of BD that is 25 that we have already calculated out of this 10 is this 10 is this so 20 has already gone that means XY must be out of 25 if we deduct 20 it will be 5 right so that's our answer okay so whenever you see a problem based on circle that is inscribed in a triangle you should be able to recall this concept of in circle that is area of a triangle base into altitude is equal to semi-perimeter into in radius. That's an important one and apart from that, if you have a circle that is circumscribed to the triangle, then it is ABC by 4R. Here ABC are the three sides and R is the circumradius. So you should remember this relationship. This is the area of the triangle, this is the area of the triangle and this is also area of the triangle and one more formula I have already given you several times that is half A into B into sin C. That is also area of the triangle, right? If you know all these four formulae to find out the area of the triangle, all the problems based on triangle and circle will be done very easily, okay?